My name is Professor Malcolm McIver and I am the Provost of Lancaster University Ghana. Lancaster University Ghana came about as the result of a partnership between the Transnational Academic Group and Lancaster University in the United Kingdom. We were, and still are, the only British university campus offering British degrees in the whole of West Africa. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to see another video on here. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Lillian. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to watch my videos. And I hope you are subscribed. If you have not, kindly do so by hitting the subscription button. Ensure you on the bell notification. Put it on the last one that says all. That way is the only way you get notified anytime I upload a video. And in today's video, we are checking out one of the very best private universities here in Ghana. And this is Lancaster University that you know in the UK or you may have heard of in the United Kingdom. So this is their brand branch right here in Ghana. This is them saving you the stress of applying for visa, paying for flight tickets and all that you know regarding traveling abroad for education. So if you are in Africa, this is them bringing you back education tourism and making it all easy for you. And in case you want to know why I'm doing this video, my job here is to tell you about the things I know in Ghana. So I was checking out the best universities in Ghana and of course Lancaster came at a very beautiful spot and I said okay let's put it out here. Alright so this video is not being sponsored whatsoever. This is me giving you guys information about Ghana because, because I live in Ghana. So together we are going to go check out their campus, see what they have to offer you and I'll be back. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Lancaster University, Ghana. Let's go on a virtual tour of our Lancaster University, Ghana's new campus, which we are excited to share with you. Launched in Accra in 2013, Lancaster University, Ghana is a partnership between the Transnational Academic Group, TAG, and Lancaster University. What? We are the only British University campus in West Africa and relocated to Tantra Hill off the Achimota in Sowam Highway in October 2021. Walk into our reception and be warmly welcomed by a friendly face ready to provide you with any information you need or direct you to where you want to go. We have a comfortable lobby where you can sit, go through our brochures, read newspapers or magazines and make yourself comfortable while waiting for assistance. You can get immediate information on our entry requirements, application process and available scholarships here. The offices of our Provost, Chief Executive Officer and other department heads. On the second floor, we have the offices of our Chief Strategy Officer, Deputy Provost, the Marketing Department and our Finance Office. This is the Science Book which serves as a hub for both faculty and students of the computer science department. Here, students and faculty have access to fully equipped computer labs to enhance learning and teaching. Student lectures, seminars and tutorials are held in our state-of-the-art learning spaces. We pride ourselves in having small class sizes with a great student to lecture ratio, ensuring that each student is able to get the needed support and attention and our students also benefit from the latest teaching and learning strategies. Our library, one of the many study spaces LUG has to offer its students. A library has over a thousand hard copy books across various disciplines and a database with over 130,000 online resources and other reading materials available to Lancaster University students all over the world. Students have access to daily newspapers and magazines to widen the scope of national and international affairs and a librarian who is ever ready to help students locate books and academic materials. It's a mixture of emotions. I, um, I think the dominant emotion is joy, so I'll go with that. I feel amazing. Liberated. Um, I feel like I've actually accomplished something that at some point I felt like wasn't going to happen at all. The bridge that we are building is strong and it will grow stronger. It is built on the sure foundation of a set of enduring founding principles that 
ours should be a university that is open to all with talent and potential. At Lancaster, the excellence that we provide has not been bought at the expense of the equity that we prize. We provide opportunities for students, regardless of their background, to realize their aspirations in life. Lancaster's philosophy is simple. What counts is not where you came from in the past, but whether you are prepared to give of yourself to create a fulfilling future. Senate, I present these members of Lancaster University, Ghana, who are worthy to receive first degrees of Lancaster University. It's about loyalty, it's about hard work. I'm glad because as a young person, it pushes me that I should still go on and do good and work hard and I'll, I'll still get my reward. You have amongst your, amongst your peers today a fantastic network and it's not one that you should leave behind, it's one that you should invest in and focus on in the future. What characterises the university is a couple of things. First of all, it is the excellence of what we're able to provide, not just in terms of research and academic credentials, but also in terms of our teaching quality. So we have a gold standard in both teaching and research, which is very unusual in education. Uh, I expected to do well, but I didn't expect to do this well. I trust that you will uphold the Lancaster University values as you continue to make a significant contribution and a difference to our community and society locally, regionally and globally. Many, many congratulations to you all. Now already, I believe you know that Lancaster University is a show. So for more information regarding Lancaster University, all you have to do is go to their website and get to know more, get to find out more about what they offer you. All right. So with that being said, I would like us to go back like I've always done. Let's go take a look at the people that were here before and see how they are doing. I mean, I'm talking about the alumni. All right. So let's go take a glimpse and I'll be back. Let's go. I'm very proud that the Lancaster is going to be one of the great universities in the top 10 in a lot of uh, endeavors and disciplines. And I feel very proud that um, I graduated from Lancaster. My studies at Lancaster has really, really helped my business. The marketing, the management, I've really been able to put it into practice. And not forgetting the connections I made. We made a lot of connections while we were in school. And that has also helped my business. I highly recommend anyone out there, wherever you are watching this video, I highly recommend Lancaster University Ghana to you. You can come here and study. The environment is very convenient and trust me, the lecturers are very, very good. Thank you so much, Lancaster Investigator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Evidence, right? Anyways, I think if not everybody, I believe you may have heard about this university, noble, prestigious. You can see for yourself. But the most exciting part for me when I was doing the research for Lancaster is the impact they are making in their host country, their host community. And I would like you guys to see that. They went back to touch my heart, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I have come to fall in love with the senior secondary schools in Ghana so much that anywhere I see any organization or individual going back to touch that spot, it kind of makes me feel like, oh, wow, I love it. So let's go take a look at the impact Lancaster is making in a host country. And I will be back. Let's go. <music> Welcome to the Business Cup Challenge. My name is Kafui Day. This is our third event. In 2013, we had six teams. Last year, we had 70 teams. And this year, when we closed the applications, we had 175 teams. What's quite interesting is this year, we have uh, eight different schools participating in the final. So it should be an interesting competition to judge. I know the competition will be fierce 
And so we know that nerves are tingling. So all we can say this morning is to wish you the very, very, very best. But it's been hard and tiring. A lot of sleepless nights. People were hungry, but it was generally it was nice. It was exciting. Please take a good look at the river Pra. What do you see on this side of the river? 100% we are winning. We are winning. I like the fact that it's a platform for people from various backgrounds to see the way we respond to such important matters and issues. Who do you think the best carrier of the message of going green will be? Men or women? When it comes to saving the planet, we have nothing like gender. If the ladies are expecting the men and the men also relax, then all of us are going to die. Kisu mutum datum, kisu mutum expectatum, which simply means to whom much is given, much is expected. Some of us weren't very, aren't very good at public speaking, but on stages like this, we get to experience it. Until we give nature the needed attention and respect, we are not going to end poverty. Mr. Speaker, this is planet Earth. What our trees do for us is that they absorb pollutants from the atmosphere and they improve the air quality, making the air very fresh for breathing. The chances are very high. Looking at what the other schools have presented, they are nothing to be compared to us. We are winning it. Can you tell me that your, that your country is developed when in a few years' time your seat will be underwater? We are now going to have a presentation of certificates. All 10 finalists are being given cash prizes of 500 CDs each from Quality Environmental Consultancy. Best new school. Tema Secondary School. Most compliant school peculiar international school i think overall it was good the various teams presented very well the best female presenter is from wesley girls high school Eiram abiesie agbashi best male presenter at this other college clement Bote. What I also uh, liked about the team is that they were looking at a problem, which a common problem, but each of them from a different perspective. Second runner-up, Roman Rich. It's a wonderful opportunity for the students to do research and to um, present um, as if they were presenting to a business or, in this case, to Parliament. First runner-up, So Clinic. The quality, overall quality among the top teams was significantly higher than previous years. The winner of this year's Business Cup Challenge is... Wegehefui! When they announced the winners, it was just... So this is a reminder that I don't do things just for doing sake. If it's not worth it, I'd rather leave it than do it for any price. All right. So this takes us back to the series I did here some time ago. I mean, I'm talking about the senior secondary schools in Ghana. I told you guys that the senior secondary schools in Ghana are just as competent as i don't know what you could make of it i have always bragged about the government senior secondary schools in ghana and this time around you can see for yourself in the video they did not disappoint at this other college wesley girls keep course saint augustine infanti pim and name them they were all here and you can see the winner <laughs> This is what I'm talking about and they brought them face to face with international schools and these guys did 
excellently so in ghana you do not have to worry about the senior secondary school of your child all you have to do is just choose which one you want you want to do the public or you want to do the private the choice is all yours and as a matter of fact the respect is equal and this video has proven that and i'm super excited i'm proud of the senior secondary schools in ghana this video is not about them but they hijacked the whole thing and i'm super proud of them so if you want to know more about lancaster and so if you want to be enrolled here you want to enroll your child you want to enroll someone all you have to do is go to their website and of course do not be shy to tell them how you got to know about them should in case you are asked i hope that you did enjoy this video and that i will see you in another one bye